I straw out of Florida. Tenement yard redeem. This is the stepping razor, the art of war. 107 point any one of the other number them. I refem. We 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 read where a man out of Riverton City has said him now risks him life to tell the government that who burned down the place for fifty thousand dollar. Because him have, if, if, when he might risk him life, he might make sure he might have enough money if he left him for him family. That's if then kill him when he talk. Well I want to tell the bridge and say you can't you can't talk now because you have enough money for have a nice funeral, you know. The the crime stop them increase the 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 reward from fifty thousand to three hundred thousand for information leading to the arrest and conviction of individuals involved in starting the fire at the Riverton disposal site. So this is a news coming out from Crime Stop say instead of fifty thousand <laughs> they're not easy, you know. Six times now, them increase it six times. Three hundred thousand, three hundred thousand for the arrest and conviction of anyone who can tell them who start that terrible fire that will affect Jamaican people into this year and next year and the years to come. And we know say. The government would have to pay out more than 300,000 for the effect, the effect where it caused upon the population, especially in Kingston and, and St. Catherine there. So, we want the people to know that. All the people in Riverton, you can get $300,000 if you tell Crime Stop. Who start the fire? I for the one have a co-op, you know, have a co-op, and three hours go to the police and only share out the money. Three hundred thousand. Anybody we can tell them who start this fire? Them serious about it. People with information have been asked to call three one one or visit the official Crime Stop website at www.crimestopjamaica.com. Click the report a crime. Option, then complete the submit the farm. Look at one, all them things there. We, we know none of them things there, you know, about complete farm, pan line, and all them something there. You know. We just walk, come in, and tell you, oh, you don't know, mind if we wear a mask. Because we don't trust police, we tell them neither, you know, because you're going to tell all the police, and then go tell them friends, hey, guess who come in there a while ago? Come talk about you. That has been known to happen already. I have known cases where people went to the police to tell them of something and the police go to the down in the area and tell them, say, guess who come down there, no Neil? Well, you always say that now. Neil missing. Nobody no know which part Neil there. And some people that talk about Neil going to foreign. <laughs> Neil going to foreign, you know, guess where Neil there? In the dump. So, we want the people them to know that this is very important, very, very important that those who know who is doing it, trust me, it, 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 it is very important that you, 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 you both span them. Because it's going to affect maybe all you two who are near the dump, you know. No feel the way, you know. By the end of the year, you start feel like you have certain disorders, and when you go and doctor, you say you have cancer, and you say you have some ailment that you never have last year. So, yes, very important, very, very important. Now, over the past weeks, even before we go Africa and come forward, we did a concentrate on this drone thing. People hear talk about this drone strike and Obama and him drone strike. They will kill whole heap of Afghan children and, um, and, 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 and parents. And obviously to America that is collateral damage. Because them people, they hear them people, they stay in war now. If them want you and you there are wedding, and this has been known to happen already, that a man was targeted for a drone strike in Yemen. And the 
the intelligence tell them say him gone at his funeral. When I'm family them, they are funeral. And them just strike a June right in at the funeral and kill all the people them, including the man who them want to kill. Well now, today we see a report, fresh, fresh, fresh report, that the June strike ordered by President Obama killed two hostages. As <laughs> It accidentally killed two hostages, including which was including an American who was held hostage by Al Qaeda for about two, three years and all, where the family of this man was pleading to the government of America to do something about trying to get him released. Only for come here now, say the same people them who them are asked to release the 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 man, the same people them kill him accidentally. President Obama expressed grief and condolences Thursday. And this happened from in January, you know, and the world just a year about this now, you know. President Obama expressed grief and condolences Thursday for a January June strike against suspected terrorists in Pakistan that accidentally killed two hostages, including an American aid worker when people hear we attack certain things you know people are going like say we are exaggerating the high value things because we played the table last week with a little girl go in front of Obama and I tell him say look here don't you think that these drone strikes is fueling more terrorism couldn't you spend the money in, in better ways well see you know Obama said he took full responsibility for the operation and apologize for the families of the hostages. I profoundly regret what happened, Obama said. Now, Obama is, is now saying that he is taking responsibility. In our next article, he's taking responsibility for all missions pertaining to drone strikes in Pakistan. All missions, all those killings, all those killings that we have been telling you about. And people want to go on like say we are doing something do that. In two the while like youth will call me. We want you to know that Obama is taking responsibility for all of those missions, including this one here that just kill an American. So you see when them kill it it, it bad in America it bad when you kill another man, you know, like some little picnic and some um some Afghanistan woman, you know. But you see when you start to kill American you now, even one American life value to them more than 20 afghan picnic life yes click it abc electrical say step in razor so we're reading this article here obama said he took full responsibility for the operation and apologized to the families of the hostages i proudly i profoundly regret what happened he said the two western hostages one american one italian were killed during a drone strike that targeted members of al-qaeda the white house said they were warring Wayne Steen, an, an aid worker from Maryland, who was a contractor for the U.S. Agency for International Development, and Italian Giovanni Lopoto, both were kidnapped by Al-Qaeda in Pakistan. Wayne Steen in 2011 and Lopoto in 2012. That means a long time them get hostage. Now, the thing is this now, and what is the, 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 the argument on the television? How is it that they could have known this Al-Qaeda operator um, rear about them say you have 100 and different intelligence from this man, you know, where them look for, you know. And with all them science and technology, them pinpoint where the Al Qaeda man there, you know, but them couldn't pinpoint that the Al Qaeda man was with an American who the Al Qaeda them held hostage. Now, that is the contention of the family. The family has said them can't understand it. Them can't understand how them are running on this man so long. And them know exactly where the man is, but them never know, say, them father, the little girl, the TV, not a little girl, but the daughter of the man, the party the TV, and I say, this is kind of weird. The White House said the counter-terrorism operation, and another this year in the same region, also killed two other Americans. <laughs> I said, I you to say that because anytime we talk certain things, people are annoyed and vex. The White House, not Muta Baruka, 
the White House said the counter-terrorism operation and another this year in the same region also killed two other Americans believed to be working with Al-Qaeda. No. You know what the American them say? The American them say, how can you be killing Americans because you think that they are connected to a terrorist group? The law of America says any American who is deemed or people feel so them guilty must be brought to trial. You can't just go kill American at your whim because you feel so why them aligned to Al Qaeda. So the American them is really, really, I mean, serious thing. If you turn on your TV and look on all of the news, the news thing, them foreign news thing, it's pure that they buy your TV. Can know them all. I tell you, say two other Americans was killed this year. Who them alleged was with um, Al Qaeda. In your video released by Al Qaeda in 2013, Wilson pleaded for Obama to, to negotiate his release saying he felt totally abandoned and forgotten by the U.S. government. Well, you know, so the U.S. have a policy with them no, them no negotiate with terrorists. That is the thing. Them no negotiate with terrorists. And if your family is a problem and you start to negotiate with the terrorists, then forget out your family. You're liable to get charged for negotiating with terrorists. So, it's a serious cat and mouse game I'm going on right now. So, we have a show that's going to pan out, but as I, I, I we tell you before, a, a, a long time, a long time, America has dropped a drone strike, people. Long, long time, this is going on. But it's just like now, an American. And you see, now we have about two other Americans were dead this year already. And now they must say, this man who was held as this for almost two, three years was held by the Al Qaeda group was blown up by the United States government. A busy hour and alarm in discovery is raising concerns in Japan about the potential of terrorists in terrorism involving drones. A drone carrying traces of radioactive material was found on the rooftop of Japan's equivalent to the White House. <laughs> on Wednesday, police and government officials said the discovery came on the same day at Japanese court approved a government plan to restart two reactors at the Sandia and Sandia nuclear power plant in Kagoshima. So this is another thing I know. The same day that the government, the courts approved the government to restart them radio, them, them, them reactor, them find a drone on top at the, the presidential place where the government, where, where the prime minister lives. <laughs> so that is the ooh, 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 fly that drone on top of that building. Ooh, put that drone, land that drone on top of the Japanese head building. What is the reason for it to be there? Question. We are watching TV, the, 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 the commission business there, and we see them uh, quiz the, the Mr. Ellington. We still have to ask the question where we ask. But we have been asking. I mean, this is a serious question. The question is, uh, well, the reasoning is that them whole vibes cartel for murder and in their prison for him, got, him, him supposed to have 35 years of murder and meanwhile vibes cartel in a prison for murder the former head of the police force Mr. Ellington come on national TV and say that vibes cartel is fingered in more than a hundred more murders. This is where Mr. Ellington said the head of the police force. Now, why we wouldn't why we're we not supposed to believe him? 
Then is the head of the police force. We supposed to believe him. That vibes cartel did want kill off the Jamaican people them in a Jamaica because if you finger a man for a hundred of a murder, you know, I want serious killer that you know. Well, hear what me I say now. A man cannot be allowed, whether the man is a murderer, whether the man is whatsoever we want to call him. A man should not be allowed, a so-called respectable citizen of Jamaica, head of the Jamaica Constabulary Force, should not be allowed to come on Jamaican TV and say these things and fini one year now, we don't hear nothing more about it. Are, are they doing investigations? Is it taking one year to investigate the other murders? If you finger a man for 100 murders, you know, from last year until now, at least two more, three more, you must can find and say, see, they don't tell you, say the man a, a serial killer, man. But we have heard no hem about it. Meanwhile, the man is there talking, what he might give other um, witness thing pan something where them do again in a Tivoli garden and whether you like vibes cartel or not the reality of the situation is that you can't if I hey watch a man watch a man he said me have a company on a radio station yeah, and start tell call some name and say you see the brother there or the man there you see the politician there that the station is a lockdown already me I tell you that it's a lockdown a man that said, boy, I write no motor. First of all, I libel. Then I go charge the radio station for, for, for really, eh, 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 what them call it? Giving, giving the, 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 the opportunity to a man to say, to be libelous. So not only me that get charged, but the radio station that get charged. Now, me as a, me as a, me as a TV station that get charged for of the G, Jamaica Council of Force head. I tell you, say, this man here, this murderer here, have 100 more murder upon him finger here. And yet, you don't hear nothing more about it. No, not all, you don't hear about it. Whether you like Vice Cartel or not, this is a, this is a matter of, this is a matter of citizen and how you look from people in the society and we're good for the goose, but we're good for the gander. Watch a man. You can't just imagine if me come on the radio and say these things, man. You can't just imagine because me say less than some people are called for tape. Me hear Kabo and talk on radio and me them are called for tape. I would never say nothing bad about them, you know. And them are called, oh, we need a tape. We need a tape. Of the January the 1st, 1900, we need a tape. Tape for do what? Because we just say certain things. And a man come big and bold on the television because he means the head of the Jamaica Constable Air Force. He is, he is not obligated to give us the information that him have. Are, 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 is he still believing that the information cannot be told because it is an ongoing, <laughs> it is an ongoing operation. Operation, you better go and tile it. If you are, if you want the operation, and tile it if you go. You can't come on the radio and talk about them things about them radio. And me think, say, whosoever represent Vice Cartel, who no can't afford to make it go so. Believe you me, click it. Step in, Razor. We have some information here I want to give the people them, you know, because I think it's about a year ago we read that information like this, you know, about the traffic thing. And now them come back from where I get. Hey, the government are trying to get money as... A serious, you know, can you hear them tell the police them? And we hear the police them argue over it, you know. So they want the police them go out there by any means necessary. Any little thing. Just prosecute. <laughs> you understand? Get ticket for any little thing. That's it. Can get some money quick. All right. Following an extensive deliberation on the road traffic act by a joint select committee of parliament, Lawmakers are expected to de debate soon the new law that sets out increased fines, jumping in some instances by more than 1,000%. But at the same thing, this was last year, I, I, I knew thing this. The following are some of the proposed fines in the new Road Traffic Act. Offenses in respect of which a fixed penalty 
may be paid to a collector of taxes. Now, I want the driver them listen to this, you know. Listen to where I go on. Neil, you have to listen to this, you know. Yes. Driving motor vehicle with no valid certificate of fitness, $5,000. Driving motor vehicle, this is a suggestion, still, you know. Because I tell you that, that, but more than likely when these guys suggest things, you know, them don't have any of them already say, at least they're going to deal with. Driving motor vehicle without it's being registered, $10,000. Driving motor vehicle without it being licensed in the prescribed manner, $10,000. Driving a motor vehicle without evidence of insurance or failing to surrender evidence of insurance, $15,000. Driving a motor vehicle with license decal obscured. <laughs> hear that now? Obscured. That means uh, if you are driving your vehicle with a license legal, um, plate, and the police can't see it good. Because you come from country and it mud up it. <laughs> it mud up it. Your lights plate. A $5,000 you have to go pay for that. I can't do what they might suggest. Which license decal not a fixed $5,000. That means uh, if you drive from country on them bad road. And you drop in a patrol and your license plate drop off. And you never know. And the police have to say... Where your license plate? They say, boy, I'm in the van. I'm in the van. You know, to the license plate. A five thousand dollar you have to go pay. License plates obscured and not easily distinguished. Five thousand dollar. License plates. Okay, all right. Let me let me go back over this thing, you know. It's not the license plate that they're about to charge for. The decal. The decal, I like to be another same thing. The decal, I want. The light thing for your car glass. What is the difference between your license plate? Aisha, what is the difference between your license plate and your license decal? Tell me. The sticker and the decal, right? Yeah. yeah, and the license plate and the one we have a back. back. All right, so we have to talk it over again because it's it ketchup and ketchup myself a while ago. I realize it. I'm not foolishness. All right, you're driving your motor vehicle with lights legal obscured. It matter, in other words, if you have your the, the, the round thing where you stick on by your, your, your car glass, if you can't see it properly by you putting on an advertisement there, I say, why in your body, girl? And it not show properly. A $5,000 you have to go pay. All right. And then now, the license plate, if your license plate is obscured and not easily distinguished, Five thousand dollar license plate not affixed as prescribed. Five thousand dollar driving motor vehicle contrary to terms of license. Fifteen thousand dollar. It means if you if you drive a car and I'm go find you a drive truck, I drive things where I carry people, and you're not supposed to you're the license. They say no. A fifteen thousand dollar driving a motor vehicle without driver's license or learner's permit in position possession. Two thousand dollar. Failing to comply with the conditions of learner's license, $6,000. Failing to comply with the condition of first year of driver's license, $6,000. Failing to notify authority of change of place. <laughs> right, they were fine. They were, you forget what they were talking about. Failing to notify authority of change of place of residence, $2,000. <laughs> Everybody in the studio laughed around it. Believe you me. IMF, I tell you, those international MF. All right. Failing to obey red light or stop sign. Listen to that word at all. You think that's easy? Failing to obey red light or stop sign. $12,000. Suppose you one night you decide to say, I'm on a trailer, you know what, stop or stop light. Police stop you. $12,000, you're gone. Well, me not prepare pay twelve dollars and make the man who have a trail me behind the sock. I do that cars with my life. You understand? Failing to comply with any other traffic sign, eight thousand dollar. That means eh, uh, at some big money business are going turning into a crossing major road so as to obstruct traffic, nine thousand dollar. No, that is a major thing now. But here we know this is a problem with this thing at all. This way in the America. Like, for instance, in a man at now, I you drive for a straight road up every block of a stoplight. 
But you them supply the run now. You see when one supply say go, by the time you reach the other supply, it's a go to by the time you reach. So when you drive, there is no bungalow pub traffic. You see in a Jamaica, you go pass three supply. One supply is a go. You see by you reach from the other one, it's up. You have to stop. So you have to draw brakes and the man who didn't have the go up there, so he have to stop right there, right at the middle of the road. A bungalow up there, so now, they may go charge you for that. You're supposed to know so the supply is not good in a Jamaica. <laughs> You're supposed to know so them now work in a car that's with each other. So them say, turn in, which, which part is there? Um, okay, I, I have so many there. You know. I, have, I have so much, I have so much things. So much things. Failing to comply with any other traffic sign, yeah. The red light thing is a problem in a Jamaica. You know. I don't, I don't feel say the people them who design the idea of stoplight understand say you can't have a stoplight at every corner. And when you when the stoplight has a go, and you drive to the next stoplight, that stoplight should automatically start to go to. That if you stop at that supplier, you know, you know, the second supplier, and the man who have the go, four traffic inside, and you have the go, and you come in, so you have to stop, you know, because you have to stop. Then, you know, since so the stop, the, 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 the car, they go back up in the middle of the road, you know, and that's that happen in a Jamaica right now, especially in the peak hour, especially in a Kingston. The traffic light, them, need to regulate in such a way that it give free access to all the traffic, and we are going one way. And then when that stop, it free up all the traffic. Then we are come from the other way. It cannot be that one supply say go and the other stop say stop. And when you stop now, then you in a problem because you in the middle of the road and you block up the other traffic. Them you can't move because so much traffic up on the road. And you have to try to figure out, you know, what's up in the middle of the road, you know, because a man start blowing or make noise on police. Yeah. So you have to try maneuver yourself out on the sidewalk. If you don't end up in the middle of the road, so. Them no business with that. Them no business with that at all. Driving motor vehicle without driver's license. Alright, we do that already. Feeling to be a traffic light. Feeling to comply with another traffic sign. Alright. So them to turn it into a cross in major road. So as to obstruct traffic, which is that we are talking about. You are obstruct the traffic. You still up that in the middle of the road. Them supposed to have a web. You know, so I will put driver don't know about the web business. You know. Let me explain to them about this web thing, you know. They have certain intersection when they get some yellow paint and cross cross it in a some square. You're not supposed to stop in a that in a those squares, no. Because if you stop in a those squares, wait I say that you're apparently going to obstruct the vehicle coming from the other direction. You're supposed to make sure that you come out of that web. Now you have some money. <laughs> you have some money. Understand that you don't see the web. You don't get some money now. In go on the sidewalk. <laughs> and go out the car and drive on the sidewalk. Just because the walk come out of the web. All right. Exceed the speed, speed limit by 16 kilometers is 6,000. 33 kilometers, 10,000. 50 kilometers, 15,000. Driving onto one road from another and causing traffic obstruction. See, there that we are talking about. $10,000. <laughs> Driving motor vehicle in violation of the rules of the road by one failing to keep to the near side of the road when approaching or being overtaken five thousand dollar Jamaican driver don't know about that as some idiot driver they on the road most of the time because <laughs> a guy know what um, yeah when when you're over you, you, why is it that when you overtake a man in try to press him gas <laughs> I can't understand it I mean the road clear he might drive slow and use him cell phone. And you go, as you start, go around him, and I'm pressing you, and start fine. You are finding it difficult to pass him, you know, you know. And the next year, just a company side of the road. No, them say, look at now. You see the one who use him cell phone by the car of the road, we don't want, just, just ease up, just ease up, just go over by the side a little more. And make the man pass, you know, press your gas, Rasta. Anyway, overtaking on the near side of other traffic, $5,000. Feel into a low passage to other overtaking vehicle. I don't know how they're going to stop that. I don't know how police are going to monitor that, you know. Feel into a low passage to other overtaking vehicles. Like the man who see a pass, the man stop and press him gas. Really and truly. 
I nearly licking our bread down this a while ago, you know. Me I come up the road and the man I come from around which part the 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 the, the bus terminal there. I don't know where the man I do. It's like he must say it's a one way. Nobody now come from the other way. It's a lucky thing. I never car I never over from my right because when me swing all time, you know. Or over the other side, me gone. It's a terrible thing. Most most Jamaican, me say the most Jamaican driver really. Them, them can manipulate themselves out of situation, but they make you crash. So, when you are driving, you have to drive for the man in front of you, the man behind you, and the man who accompany the other side of you. Because trust me, if you now look on them three things there, eh, that's why you have to make sure you have a rear view mirror set up properly. You're not supposed to drive behind a man where you can't see him back tire them. And you're not supposed to look through your rear view mirror and see the back of your car. You <laughs> understand? It's supposed to have to the man over the other side of the road. I just saw it go. Failing to allow passage to other overtaking vehicles. Overtaking in a matter causing obstruction to oncoming vehicle. $10,000. A whole heap of paper this one, sir. Crossing or turning so as to obstruct traffic. $9,000. Driving onto a road from another in a manner causing obstruction. $9,000. Driving from onto a place not being a road. In a manner causing obstruction of traffic, nine thousand dollar. Traveling backward further than necessary, nine thousand dollar. Yeah, yeah. Some man reverse like say a front driver drive, you know. Them say <laughs> if you reverse too long and that way, you're supposed to reverse. No, but that's what you're saying. Because so they look for all the road, you know. And you call the road, you know, and all of a sudden you miss the road, and all of a sudden see the road behind you. And you say, hey, I don't listen there. You now go go up the road and come back, look, you know. And the weird thing, if you're the America, you do it, you know. It's a weird thing. If you drive, if you drive America, and you miss a road, you know. More than like a Jamaican, now go reverse on the same road, for go catch back the road, you know. Him drive, go up all a mile, and for come back down, for come round. You see that Jamaica, I'm gonna look for a road, and you miss the road, and the same road, him a reverse pan. And it, you see, if you had come up, you say, hey boy, move out of the road, you see, I look for the road. <laughs> Failing to place motor vehicle when not in motion at the near side of roadway. Three thousand dollars. You have some man now in park in the night and turn on the bright light and in park. And you are coming down the road and why a man turn on the bright light when in park? Like say if you turn on him in, in dim light, you're not gonna see him car. Alright. Person pouring petrol driver leaves vehicle and alright. Person pouring petrol. Oh, okay. Driver leaves vehicle unattended. That means uh, if you dare gas station and you put vehicle, you must left your vehicle. Then I don't let my vehicle all the way. I'm going to buy a juice and I'll run and go buy a juice. That means, uh, trust me, I $7,000 that. <laughs> $7,000. You have to go pay. Parking a vehicle in a zone designated for parking and feeling to observe the rules obtain, pertaining to parking or feeling to pay charge $2,000. Person willfully or unnecessarily preventing, hindering, or interrupting free passage of vehicular or pedestrian traffic, thirteen thousand dollar. All right, you know, me I call upon the government to do something about the intersection, on Kansas Spring Road, the stoplight where just right beside Odeon Avenue, we we'll go into a sort of near that, the, the road where a Mandela Park is up. There must be something that can be done with that intersection because here we are up now. You see, when you come down um, Kansas Spring Road to turn left at the stoplight where, where Oden Avenue, I think I saw that made a road in here, where you go carry your back now on Old Oak Road. All right. You're there, you're, you're there at the stoplight and you go turn. The stoplight say green. You see, as you turn the corner, a, a million and one people across the road. Are <laughs> you, you don't stop there? And I wait. You see, by the time them people they cross, the stoplight behind you are now, you know. I said, stop. And guess what? You see, the people they were there behind you, them have to stop behind you and wait till the hundred people cross. No, you can't go tell them, say, hey, come out of the way, you know, cowboy. I'm going to say, hey, boy, uh, lick me, lick me, lick me. I guess it's something. Like, say, if you lick him, I say something, I'm going to go to the hospital. <laughs> but, I think say, the government need to look into that little place so you know, because it's a very tricky situation for a driver when the supplies say green 
And when I'm going to turn the corner now, a hundred people just cross. Because the, 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 the traffic light is not coordinated. I do understand it. The, the stop light must be coordinated with not only vehicle and traffic, but the pedestrian who are cross. Because it's a nine for the stop light to green. And when you turn the corner, you have to stop again. And all the vehicles them behind you have to back up. And more than likely, a man feels him to get around and you go around and him just come around with that woman lick up in the back. Disobeying direction that signal of constable in execution of his duty, five thousand dollar. What a whole heap of things, Rasta. And tomorrow man, I'm not going to read this. It's all finished? All right. Failing to observe silence. <laughs> no, this is a foolishness. That's in a Jamaica. There's no silence zone in a Jamaica. <laughs> Failing to observe silence zone, same thousand dollar. Look at man. You go a man yard in a cherry yard. And it's a silent zone. And you say, I in them live. You say, yeah, man, I in them live, man. You say, they blow their hand up and come. Because <laughs> 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 you say, me now come out of the car, Rasta, you don't see the dog. Blow their hand, Rasta. Pop, 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 start blow their hand. They say, oh, that's what I want. I sent down the laugh that. I want you to know that. Feeling to observe school safety zone, 10 down the laugh. Jamaican people don't do that. They don't observe the safety zone at school. Because when they reach near the school, they like them and say, well, I'm going drive fast quick before the people start cross, yeah? <laughs> and that little people, you know them little people, always I come out with them white outfits and, and I hold about children crossing. And man, I said, come out of the road, but that's what you're dealing with. Anyway, at 7,000, that's going to cost you. 10,000 dollars. Exceeding speed limit without school safety zone. Within school safety zone, ten thousand dollar. Exceeding limit within construction work zone, ten thousand dollar. Failing to comply with a sign of school crossing patrol to stop, five thousand dollar. No, them should not charge them more for that one. Believe you me. Driver of motor vehicle failing to yield the right of way when pedestrian is in pedestrian crossing, seven thousand dollar. What I'm to do, all right, see the next problem I know. All right, a pedestrian crossing the way down there, so. And you are driving coming on the road, and all of a sudden, you say, guys, I walk across the road with him cell phone. Yeah, so I asked him, and he asked, but wait, no, no, no crossing, no, there, so. And he asked, Bridget, no crossing, no, there, so. And he said, I'm starting to tell your mother. And then what you know? You see, by the time him cross, and you go down there, a string of people are crossing the, 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 the cross. It's in America. In America, when the pedestrian cross where there is no pedestrian crossing, you can be charged in a whole heap of state for that thing named jaywalking. You think you can't cut out and say jaywalking, but I know I know Jay did a walk, and Neil did a walk, I know Jay. You can be charged for jaywalking in America, you know. And you have people is obstructing traffic. There's an obstruction of traffic. If you cross at an area that's not designated for a pedestrian crossing. And the police must recognize that sometimes it's not the driver that is creating the problem. Because you come down a road and all of a sudden you see a man just run cross the road. I'm going to try to dodge between the car them. A man I feel like say, boy, all right, no, all right. I'm going to say, no, two cars come. You know, I reach over this one, something in the middle of the road. I can't make the other cross, car pass, and then I just go over the other side. It's not supposed to that. You're supposed to wait till the road clear and go down which part is pedestrian crossing there and cross. You're not supposed to have crossing the middle, especially some. Hey, Kansas Spring was terrible, you know, Rasta. You have some man at Baba and we've only car, you know. You have some man at selling. <laughs> no, the man is not easy, you know. You see the man at sell. A guy just stand up on the white line, you know. And then see the two cars, they might come, one for them left, one for them right, and sort of like my police. And you have to make sure so you don't lick him. Person pouring petrol into our and vehicle while engine running and naked light is 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 a light ten thousand dollar. Don't try to charge them more than that. Person with intent to defraud interfere with our operating parking meter fifteen thousand dollar. Driver of motor vehicle leaves vehicle unattended without stopping the engine four thousand dollar. Watch a man. Watch a. It's a Jamaican taxi man. Jamaican taxi man, him have woolly pa luggage for the woman in the car. And him stop right near our gate. Not in front of our gate, you know, near our gate. About two black hours down, him car near gate and all. 
Yes, when him take out our things, him, him not lock off him car, because him lock off his car, he got a car start again. So you remember do now. He might go help her with the luggage, two block down the road, and left him car on. And we have four thousand dollars, you have to go pay for that. Failing to place motor vehicle when not in motion at the near side of roadway, seven thousand dollars. Failing to play motor vehicle in position so as not to obstruct traffic, seven thousand dollars. Failing to use appropriate hand signal, two thousand dollars. And signal. Yeah, Who did them thing they get? Yeah, me know what me, but nobody. Well, as it's about pushing my loads. What, hey boy? My lick off your head, push it back here. <laughs> no. Hey, Joe, you got people that rule, you know that stuff. Hmm? Hey. No, me, me have to read out the whole life. All right. Go on, click it. We got no fire. This is a long series of things. We don't have two pages. We're going to just read two pages, but. For those of you who's been calling and wanting to find out the thing, we can't read it over. Just go up on your internet business and put proposed fines for road traffic act. Proposed fines for ro road traffic act. Just Google it and you will see what I read about. All right. So we can continue. Driving cars and vehicles to obstruct road are parked while being loaded or unloaded. $7,000. All right. Listen to that one, you know. Use of electronic communication device while driving, ten thousand dollar. No, you see, if all of them were there, so you know, at that one, you mean feel say should I go up to at least twenty five thousand dollar? These people who is texting and using cellular phone, and you sit on there, a guy in front of the stoplight, and he might use him cellular phone, and this thing say green, and when you go so burp, burp, and blow him. Him turn round and I tell you all sorts of things. No. The government must put on them, whatever them put on. Upon this idea where people is using cell phone while driving. You cannot be using a cell phone while you're driving. Because the possibility of you obstructing someone else or causing a accident has increased because of your cell phone and some people actually are text you have some woman in, you have some woman are driving in the traffic you know in the day you know and them somebody surprised you know still them finger yeah and yeah and i blow them them i'm saying most of what you blow me for you like me <laughs> i said no your cell phone use of electronic video device Within driver's line of sight while driving. Yeah, you have a whole heap of, you have a whole heap of, a, a drugs man have that. Them have video in them car. I don't know why a man that have video, I don't watch him video, be that ever drive, you know? Yeah, man, shoot the boy. <laughs> you know what No, so, a 13-ton that I have to go pay. Using or driving or permitting to be used motor vehicle in a defective, defective condition. Yeah, the one, the man, the police stopped me and tell me, say, most of blue smoke come out of the back of your car, you know. <laughs> so me I say, what well, that be, you know. He said, well, we have to go take away your license and make you go fix the car and come back. And that was on a weekend. So, yes, that is the, the proposal. It is not law yet, but this is what is recommended in the house. The new fines for road traffic act. Hope it can help to keep the streets more safer for everyone this is the stepping razor the art of war especially in the pan country road and where we narrow them a drive and a smoke cigarette or a ganja spliff and when it reach a butt him just flick it out in the bush and you know say i fire that instantly so we are called upon the people them to be more more conscious of the movement on the road. You can't a smoke cigarette and just flick it out. You don't even out it and flick it. You flick it out with the with the thing I go on. I don't know. Be and truly. You know, you have to be more conscious. He's um office here. There will be a it, it's called the SDC's local economic development support program launch which will be taking place right here on the grounds of IRFM Wednesday, May the 6th. Big things are going on. 
in a RFM on May the 6th. This is a effort by SDC. For those of you who don't know what SDC mean, tough luck, and I will tell you, you have to go find that out. Social Development Commission. So we have a representative here by way of Miss Aishiwawa Hope. Good afternoon. Greetings, greetings, everyone, and greetings to our community leaders and volunteers. Okay, all right. So I have never heard of is, is this a new initiative or is this is, is, is that thing we are ongoing or, or work? All right, the local economic development support is our one of our strategic goals. It's a process which brings together different partners in a local area. And we say local area, we mean communities across Jamaica to work together and harness local resources for sustainable economic growth. So it, it, it is depending on the... It is, it is dealing with communities and how communities can help themselves. That Most definitely. We know that our economy is tight and we want communities to take this initiative where they develop co- businesses that can enhance the economy of the local space. And, and they have, they have, the, 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 the SDC going to finance these businesses on a low scale, a small scale level of work. All right. The primary aim of the project, of the program, it's a program within the SDC, is to bolster viable the economic enterprises owned and operated by the local communities, the community-based organizations, to shape a culture of productivity within our communities that will result in the growth of the economy. You know that the economy nationally is tight. And how we do this is through a number of ways that we help the community. We don't necessarily give them direct funding, but we do the, the program through a number of areas. We help with um, training, capacity building of the groups. We train the, the groups in business development, etc. We also have networking and partnership where we create opportunities for linkages. So, for example, we we'll link the community-based organization with a JBDC, with a Heart Trust NTA for training with financial institutions mm-hmm. on how they can get loan a scientific research council to enhance their product. So that's one of the work that SDC. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. You go fast, man. Hold on. Suppose, suppose me and Neil in our community, and we want to start a thing. Well, we have to sign up something. We have to make sure that Neil is not the thief, you know, the group. How oh, that work? All right. How we do it is that we work, SDC works, we work with communities across Jamaica, over 780, 780 communities across. What we work through is community-based organizations. So we prefer when the, the, the business is, is not just a one-man show. Yeah, but so, may I ask so, you know, so what we do is yeah. that we ensure that the group is affiliated with the Community Development Committee. And we work through that process where we help the group in developing their business plan, the business model, and ensuring that they have the things in place. So so what is the criteria for me and Neil in our community? You, you mean we have to go to this organization, the next organization, and say we are, you know, Neil All and right. Baruka. All right, we have we have community development officers. We have officers yeah, yeah, working yeah, yeah. in the community, and yeah. we go to the respective communities from time to time. Now, if you have a business that we that we you know see mm. in the community, mm. we can ensure that because we want the community at large to benefit. We don't just want you, you uh, and your family uh, alone yeah, yeah, to benefit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. want it to be a wide scale. So we would see how how we can incorporate other persons in the in the structure to ensure that the community and what you do from your resources not only just to go and buy a new car or whatever but how you help the community at large okay. so, for, so the SDC we definitely want to make sure that not just it's not a yeah. one man show it's everybody but, can benefit whether it's employment increased in the community mm-hmm. or um, you are contributing to the development of the community at large in addition to making your profit to yeah. Im- improve yourself so what we do once we find out um, that you have a business we ensure that these things are in place and we do some assessments of the group and the assessment. Assess- tell me about the assessment so like we question the group about um those same things that we mentioned the profitability if it's feasible um if what mm. you know the product development the growth strategy yeah. how it's going to benefit the community at large and so on we, we do that assessment then we determine what type of help you need from SDC. Is it that you need us to assist you in registering the, the, the business so that you have a legal authority in terms of, you know, you need to open a bank account, you have to have legality, or is it that your product, you're just doing the product and it needs some labeling, and we need to ensure that you have proper labeling, or is it that you, you're not sure about the product and you want to... um 
see if it's viable. We can link you with scientific research counts like honey. A lot of the, a lot of the company, a lot of the businesses are doing like bee rearing, yeah. agriculture, and um, preserves and so on. So we want to ensure that there's the standard is high. So some of the things that the SEC officer would do is to ensure that we link you up with those persons to ensure that the standard of the product is of a high quality to sell to other. T- whether it's local or international. All right. How long now this initiative has gone? I mean, like, it, in a, every parish, uh, is a new initiative where we where, where are going as now? Well, in terms, it's, it's fairly new, local economic development. Like how long now? How long? Well, it, it, the part, it, it, it has been around a long time, but in terms of in a structured and a strategic way, mm-hmm. we have been focusing on that over the past two years mm-hmm. from an SDC perspective. Because as you know, right now we are restricted by the IMF and so on. And it's important that we get the communities to be, um, earning in a local scale and improving their economy within their space. So we saw it fit to get into trying to strengthen the groups and strengthen the community in mm-hmm. that way. So the government is, is primarily a focus of our um, government right now to ensure that there's local economic development, development taking place in the country. All right. This, this thing that is going to be held on the, the, the property here of IRFM, what exactly will happen at that day? Tell me. All right, the objectives of the LEDSP launch on May 6th. They, wait, they don't use no LEDSP. All right, the local economic development, development. support, okay, right? Yeah. On, on May 6th is to provide a platform for local economic initiatives, which is we'll be having 26 on showcase. 26 uh, what? Initiatives Group, across uh, okay. 26 initiatives across Jamaica from uh, what them going to exhibit? Tell me, like right, for I'm, instance, I'm, the 26 were exhibit, like some, tell me some of them what they're going to exhibit. All right, I'm going to share with you in a little bit, but mm. um, in terms, we'll be providing a space for promotional, marketing, and networking opportunities. We'll be creating synergies between community-operated initiatives and service providers, both at the local and national level, mm. specifically aimed at helping the initiatives to access the services of the agencies. Um, there are numerous opportunities for local communities to tap into resources and assistance, but they either don't know that these resources are available. So we want to create that space where persons know that this is this is. So when they come, they are going to have somebody who is right. showing them. So so in terms of um in terms of what will happen on the day of the launch, you no, know, the launch the, the activities will start at nine a.m. in the morning, straight up to five o'clock in the evening, mm. and then we're going to be having an official launch ceremony at ten o'clock. And this will last for two hours up to 12. The most honorable Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller will be in our guest speaker. She will talk for two hours? <laughs> no, she'll be a part of the program for the launch ceremony. Well, you know that she can't talk for two hours, though. Believe me. Anyway, go on talk. Our, our minister. Honorable Noel R. Scott, who is in charge of the Social Development Commission, the Minister of Local Government and Community Development, he'll also be here to address. And IRFM, of course, will host the activities for the day, which also includes entertainment through the performances of a number of popular entertainers and local artists who, you know, give them a buzz mm-hmm. and so on. We'll be having um, sectors like the agro-processing, as we mentioned before, yeah, craft, too from the different communities and ecotourism. We have a number of projects that have um, ecotourism, nature. All right, these, 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 these groups, where they have come, come, <laughs> exhibit them thing. Which, it, them all over the island. All right, I'm going to give you a share with you some of the groups that will be here on show today. Um, on May 6th. We have from Portland, for example, we have the Fairy Hill, the Nature's Handmade, they do recycling paper. We'll be having Ambassador Beth. We'll be having Israel Vibrations. Ambassador what? Ambassador Beth. What them do? It's an ecotourism, it's an eco lodge up in the, the Rio Grande Valley. Okay. We'll be having the Dallas Castle producers from Kingston, Sweet Paradise, 100%. Where do we not know what them do? Where, where Dallas Castle people them produce? They have greenhouse. They do greenhouse. They produce peppers, tomatoes, okay, etc. Okay. That's mm. a farming project, agro, uh, agricultural. Yeah. Yeah. We have the Sweet Paradise, which is honey, honey production, and they're from Greater Brownstone in Kingston. We have um, Richmond Har- Haradanga Project, soft furnishing, they do embroidery and so on. Mm. We have Jeffrey Town Producers, they are also agro-processing. We have Mile Gully um, Women's Entrepreneurship Project, also entrepreneurship and egg pro- also agro-processing and egg production. And we have the St. Mary PDC Plastic Bottle Recycling Project. Mm. 
mm-hmm. and they're doing um, recycling of plastic bottles. Okay, all right. So the launch, you launch in oh, that means uh, this is now the beginning of this movement to really deal with where where you say I'm going to do in the communities. Right, because you have a set time over a period of what time you want to accomplish a certain part of, like you, you, you have it in sections the, the thing. All right. Like in this time you want to accomplish that, in this time you want to accomplish that. Alright, what you'll be having is, as part of the work in terms of the indicators of success for the project, we'll be having um, some of the activities is similar fairs of this nature mm-hmm. and we'll be having other fairs across the country. We'll be having in West Milan, we'll be having in Hanover, St. Elizabeth and that's later on in the year. Mm-hmm. However, different parishes, the local SDCs will also be having parish fairs where they where the similar setup that we'll be having on May 6 will also take place in terms of fears but as I said before it's an overall program that we will be doing which includes this type of activity in addition to the things that we mentioned about the marketing branding training and so on so it's a strategic focus for the SDC going forward so you're going to you're going to you're going to measure the success of each individual group where you where you, you you give this advice to and give this whole thing, or you going to measure that success? Well, in terms of how we measure the success, as we said, we work with the communities on a daily basis. SDT. Mm. So what we do is create a database of all the. We have a database created of all these entrepreneurs, and currently we have seventy nine communities. 79 initiatives on our database that we track their progress and we track the intervention, the respective interventions that SDC does with these. And to tell you um, in terms of the worth of some of the combined 70, 79 initiatives, it's a value of 400 million Jamaican dollars right out in the community space there in terms of creating community wealth in the local space. And that is, that is for one year. No, in terms of the value of the projects that oh, are oh, out oh, there oh. now. The, so, 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 who, who, so who, who, um, who sponsored this project? Yeah? These are community initiatives. No, no. Who, no oh, oh, the sponsors SDC, for the... Who, who okay. is behind it? Who for, is, is there a foreign aid program? Okay, that okay. Is the, yeah. All right, right now, our project partners, in terms of for the launch, mm. we have IRFM, our biggest sponsor, of course. We have Heart Trust NTA. We have the Ministry of Local Government and Community Development through the Caribbean Local Economic Development Project. Those are the main sponsors for the project. And we have, um, so we'll be having support in terms of service providers, Heart Trust, NTI again, the Scientific Research Council, the St. Anne Parish Council, the Ocho Rios Resort Board, Jamaica National, and RADA. These are all of the people that move behind this thing. Yeah? Mm-hmm. You are listening to the Stepping Razor, the Art of War representative from the SDC, Miss Aishiwawa Hope. And she is here to really declare SDC's involvement in this project that is, will be launched on the 6th, which is a Wednesday, on the 6th of May, right here at IRFM Car Park. And we just want to encourage the whole of Jamaica to come out and see what is happening. We want you to come out and share with the exhibitors. We want to have a good vibes and we want to just ensure that we develop our local economy All right, across it, the country. Is that exhibit for, for, for just show up? No, you, you can buy, buy, you can buy, you can taste, sample, yeah. you, and everything. It's, it's a marketplace. It's going to be one big market. And it's market, free. And, and it's, it's free. free of cost to just come out. It's going to be all day on the in the parking lot of Area FM, mm. and we want persons to come from the length and breadth of Jamaica because the exhibitors will be coming from the length and breadth of Jamaica, and we want our community leaders to come out and support also. All right, Mama, give thanks. Give, I, I know you must have something to say, but you have to say it quick. Go on. No, we just want to say um, this project is really there to the SDC, and we want to push this project because, as we say, the economy is tight, and we want communities to really get on board in terms of trying to create wealth in their space. All right, give thanks. Talk if they want to talk. Hi, Mama, coming through. This is the stepping razor. Yes, Eel. Eel, motor. Yes, sir. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir. What happened, please, sir, is that my father have problem with two pieces of land. One man black him road and one capture piece. And what happened is that with, with the matter now, two judges 
and T. Laya and Ministry of Land, which we father are right. And what happened, sir, concerning the peace with the road, in 1998, the father comes see a man extending at his grandfather's house. And the father said to him, say, you cannot block my road because it's a reserved road. When you use and black, hold on, when you use and block the road? I extend from the grandfather's house. Come again. Where's him use and block the road? He might extend from the grandfather's house. Oh, it's an extension of him house, block the road. Yes, sir. Okay. And what up, my father said to him that you cannot stop the road, it's a reserved road. And the man tell my father that you have the best land and don't have any way to walk out here. And my father tell him that I'm going to put you in court. And the man tell my father that rock pocket man cannot run man that have money alone. <laughs> And my father went to police station and the police then sent him to the legal aid. And legal aid tell my father that he must clean away beside the man's house and go and walk. And what that means that the man get a far to bear and to bear the land without document. And my father, I think get a man to dig down a bank to get to go on his property. And what happened, please, sir, is that the man put my father in court. And the judge signed the case and tell to be a come. And our lawyer did not get a severe. And 2002, the man, we lawyer dropped the case. And we get an next lawyer. And 2003, the lawyer that we get sent a severe to severe the land. And the man cut it to be around him. <coughs> Sorry, take a pardon. And after he cut it to be around him, our lawyer put the case in court. And after our lawyer put the case in court, the man, the, the judge had a severe to come 2005. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because we're going to start severe till we reach 2006, 2007, 2008, and the program got done. So let me yeah, ask you now, know, where is it at this position at this time? What is happening now? What happened now is that the case put out a court, and the judge had a demand to give me my father, him, him road 2014 and after order the man to give me father road he had a liar that he must go and see the man liar because the liar don't come to court and go and see to be because the judge had a subject to come and to be the land so and the man so the man now i forgot to lick down part-time house to give back the road that's what i say yes you cannot get the road oh you mean you can't get the road then you know say the judge ah that said the man must give back the road he judge had, yes, he cannot get the road. Oh, you mean you can't get the road? Then you know, say the judge had that the man must give back the road. He judge had that the man to give the road and come out of the key and put the case out of the court concerning the real life to go and see the man liar and go and see the severe because severe don't severe the land. And what happened? Me call our liar since that happened. What the liar said to me? I'm glad he's not working for me. I'm a father. He was working for And I'm glad the case come out of court. So I done him done with it. All right. So what happened now? So say me what happened now. That means that the court, it not in the court, the man still no. don't move, move out of the, no. the, the, the roadway. So what got happened now? What happened now is that we cannot get... No, no don't tell me about the court again. Wait, no, man. No, you, you said out of the court. No, nobody go back to the court again. Yes. But why you tell me now what... The man don't move the, 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 the house out of the road, right? No, no, sir. It's not in the court again, right? No, sir. All right, so what you going to do now? What you going to do now? Because calling me right here, so now, me can't say abacadabra and make it move. So me ask you know what you going to do now? All right, what you want me to do? Tell me what you want me to do. Tell me. If you could get me to get to the government. Get, get you to get to the government? Yes, to get reward. Because... But the court tell you, say, you must get back your roads. So, oh, yeah, tell me, say, you must get to the government. Because, to the information of what happened, sent the man, the man committed to prison, and the judge sent him to prison. He can't call up in a court 51 times. 51 times? 51 times after uh, the man committed to prison, he can't call up in a court. All right, so you want to know, me don't know about me if you go get government, but you want to know, you have, a, you have people... We deal with these things. You have a you, you have a daughter or a son. You have a son. No, I'm here. I'm here. This son. I'm a father. 
No, me not ask if you are the son. Me ask if you have a son. Me ask if you are the son of your father. Me ask if you no, have a son. I don't have a son nor daughter. You don't have no son nor daughter. No, sir. So you stand by yourself. Me at home with the father. All right. Which part you live? Me live at Glasgow in Manchester. All right. You have a what them call them people you know in your area, the parliamentarian. You know the parliamentarian in your area. You see the parish council. Yeah, you know, you, uh, you know anybody at the parish council? Me go at the parish council and they said that me must say it in writing. And me said it in writing to them. And you know, you're nothing. And them don't write me, me go back to their office and them talk to me, tell me, say they must send see them police come and investigate the road. Uh, how long ago them tell you, say me must send the police? That is, and, and the, and the, oh my. Come on, you have to talk quick in a bridge, you know, it's not like it's half, you know, because you had yes, a dead year ago. Yes, you have to police and the 12, after one, tenth year. This year? Yes, sir. And them not send no police? No. Well, if them not send no police, but the court, it don't tell you if you get back your land. You have a paper for show to the court that say that? Me have a paper that the case is trial already, but me don't have any concern in that last, last piece. You don't have no paper to say why the court did, did say you must get back the piece of land. No, I don't have a paper. It's not a piece of land. It's a road to come in our land. Yeah, me ask if you have a piece of paper to say where the court say that the court say you must get back your piece of land. Yes, sir. You have, you have a, a paper a... like that? Yes, sir. Then you know, carry it to the council, to one. Carry it to the parish council. They go to the parish council with it and they tell me that they can't help me. You have to go to the public defender. Well, go to the public defender then. Me contact the public defender, call to that day to come in, and the public defender tell me that them can't help me give them information. You must go to the Prime to, Minister. You have to go to the Chief Justice, I go to the Privy Council. That's what the Privy Council? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what the Privy Council says. Uh, uh, well, I bet you not tell the honest truth. You're a thing yes. big, you're a thing bigger now, because I don't understand how the case is, but I know say, you seem to have a problem. I personally... I can't tell you what to do. I tell you the honest truth. I can't tell you what to do. I listen to you. It sound a way, but I personally can't tell you what to do. But the the the, 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 the what, you can't walk up the road with an obstruct. You can't walk up there. No, which part the road there? Him him dig it down and extend for the house. That the road. So 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 you can't pass go up there then. No, he not give you no road. All right. Uh, All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Sound bigger than me, I know. Believe you me. Yes. El. Yes. Mr. B. All right. You hear me I say no? Because so much things are going on. The dynamics are going on. So now that. Where. I don't know if somebody can call and tell this man what you're doing. You know, because I don't know if you tell him. You can't. The, 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 the place. Where the, the place black. What yes, is. Sir. What what you use to access that road to go. Where where you used to access the road to go? It was a reserve road that go right into our property because And you can't go your property now. Which part we are walk a bank in the father came and dig down and now we have to carry down you can't walk there. A bank in bank in must pay man to dig down. Uh, and that was from nine nineteen ninety eight. From nineteen ninety eight? From nineteen ninety eight we are fighting to get the right. Nineteen ninety eight? Yes sir. But I mean, I know we, have, you. we have proved that the judge and the lie and brief you right. Well, I don't know if you tell you, Bridget. Believe you me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody have to call a more expert in this thing have to tell talk to you about it. Because I don't know what to say. From nineteen ninety eight you have five for this little piece of thing. And you can't access your yard because the man and you know have a survey you, you know have a, you know have a piece of paper where the survey show you say this thing has gone too far out in your road. You, you know have something like that. We have a piece of document. Mm. Yeah, we took our survey document to show the road. Yeah. And a, we a, have a, a and copy of him. And it showed directly to the man in your road. Yes, sir. Then, then, then where the parish council is like, let, 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 let tell you if we go back to the parish council in Bridging. I'll find the parliamentarian for the area. Yes, F sir. Find the parliamentarian for the area. Because I don't know what to tell you. Find the parliamentarian for the area. Because I know say, if something like that, I'll never go find some guy we can't. Give me justice, but in 1998, you have to talk about this, so we are down this one. The man, the man chop off the road from how long now, and you still, I got here and here and there and there. All me have to say, 
may I have to send out to you now? Yes, sir. It's either you go to the parliament here and I wait and see if anybody will call the program and see if they have a suggestion. But I personally, I don't know what to tell you. Yes, sir? Sorry, I, I sorry about to, that. I want to make you something to you, please. Yeah. Two, two, 2006, you just tried the case. Uh-uh, that man must pay $100,000. Yeah. For damage and suspect of fifteen thousand dollars cost. And him never paid. And neither him nor the agent nor the servant money the friends not blocking, otherwise it's him and we have that court order. And him don't and him don't him don't go to the court for deal with one hundred and so, he don't go to the court. Yeah, but him in a breach, him in a breach of all the things there, so oh you can't get no justice outside. And and so much thing the man breach. If you see somebody just go on with the judge that tried to take away right, give it to the man. And we have proof of yeah. everything. Mm. All right, sir. Because as me I say, as me I say, no, we, uh, we can't go through the long reason about this again. What me yeah. I say is that you need to find the parliament here in the area. Or yes, really sir. and truly, go get a, a well, I mean, me can't tell you, go get a next lawyer because you're going to find yourself in the same position with a next lawyer. We can't afford a next yeah, lawyer. Yeah, me understand. So you go to the parliment here in your area. Or the councillor yes. in your area. Here, sir. Yes, sir. That's all we can tell you. All listen out and hear if anybody will call and give you any advice. All right? Yes, sir. All right, give thanks. Yes, step in. All right. Okay. We have a call and we can see if we can help this man. Yes, Hill. Yeah. Hello. Yes, Mr. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, ma'am. Prince, Prince from Birmingham. Yes, man. Long time I, long time I haven't called this case, Tennessee. Oh, yeah, you used to call at the night until we were going up there. <laughs> yes, man. Yeah, yes, you remember yes, you. But... Why, wow, you got prison? Oh, it's gone. No, man. <laughs> Every time prison? Yeah. <laughs> we don't know. We can't lock I've up. Never been, I've, I've never spoken to a police man in my life. <laughs> yeah. We are all prisoners, victims of the system. Anyway, where are you going, man? How long time you know you're from you? Yes, um, well, you know, I was just sitting there, um, because it's kind of difficult to go to get through, so, you know, it just take like a whole afternoon to really get through, so, oh, yeah? um, this time, no, this time I decided to, to buy a 10 pound calling card and just, like, yeah, but you want to know, today that day, a day you call, you know, not a different program, this is not a light night program. Okay, let me just. I just want to get really one piece of information because I haven't heard you talk about it. So I was just wondering, um, the the three parents' babies, have you heard about it in the UK? The what? Three parents, you know, from... Three parents' from babies? In, no, I don't hear about it. Wow, tell me about yes. the three. <laughs> right, well, they have no pass an act, which was from law in October, but, um, which will make it law for... Um, if I can get information properly, he said England will become the first um, country to make it legal for the creation of a so-called free parents baby. And uh, this is what they are proposing. And um, University um, in Newcastle, they have gone ahead with the experiment. Uh, sorry, they have gone ahead and applied and will be applying for the license to produce the first um, babies. From three parents in two Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear about it. I hear about it. I just remember. I hear about it, Bridget. I didn't hear about it. Yeah. I hear about okay, it. Then, yeah. Okay, then. Okay, yeah. Well, the listeners can just go online and, you know, read up more about it and um, and just, you know, be aware of it. Yeah? Yeah, okay. all right. Just, that's basically what I have to say. And just finally, if people are thinking of coming to England at this time, they can really go ahead and come because we are really experiencing some good, good sunshine, you know? And we appreciate it. All right, sir. All right. Give, okay, I'll call again. Yeah, man. Give thanks. Yes. Step in. Yes, EL. EL. Yeah, blessed man. Yes, Mota. Yes, sir. What I want to say to you, sir, I'm calling from Frangoli. Yeah, I want to know, sir, poor people in Jamaica are right. 
Oh, that's well, a, a writer. If no, you have no. money, I should make a writer. Day. Well, and well, and man. Oh, you mean to me, I go on like. No, but you, no, you are weird situation. You're behaving like you don't know. When you say the man, when the man said 2008, yeah, man said the man said. Yeah. Nine, when nine. you don't have money, no, no, repeat, no, no, repeat what the man said. Because I'm saying they have money and they might be a lie. Nobody repeat what the man said. No, no, no. So, no, why you ask about me, I go on like, me, me no know poor people have no right. No, but I tell you, say you should, you should so be aware that I know that by no. So, so poor people that have no right? We're not right. We're right. We're right. We're right. Okay. All, All right. right. Well, I mean, the craft traders, I'm, I'm in there. I'm there in yeah. Ferngully, right? Yeah. We used to operate on the pier, on the ship pier. Right? Yeah. And them tech we have there. How long you live on the, the, the ship pier? Well, I know. The, 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 the member of parliament. For like Ferngully, Swansea, and Mama be up on the pier. Yeah. Right? Yeah. We end up go on the pier and I do a little thing. And they say we know legal and whatever. Then come with one bag of red tape and kind of thing and take me off of the thing. I say, boy, we are, we are, our market and mommy be on country. We illegal. We know, we know traders. We are legal. Pending. We are do. Mm. And then move us. And from that time, from before the gully lock, they take me off of the pier. Up to all now, we can't reach back. Mm. And we are going through the same thing government, I try to fight the private sector, I try to fight who in authority. Mm. You understand? Yeah. So I got me a tell us, say, them going out of parliament, I said, I'm going to try to do a thing and I'm going to try to mend the law for, for accommodate us. And right now, we're still in the CMCM dilemma within the same place. So as poor people, you're not going to talk and you're not right here. Because right now, we are, we are jumping. We are Jamaican over the South Foreign, so we can't go over there. You understand? No, so, listen to the Belgian, we're not without money. Uh -huh. We have money, yeah. we can do anything, and yeah. do just about anything. All right, sir. So that more as the family. Give thanks, man. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Next call. Yes, EL. Yeah. Blessed man. Yeah, listen to your radio in a bridging. <laughs> so, the man. Yeah, Mr. Mota. Yeah, man, you're stopping to your radio now, yeah? No, man, I'm not in Kyle. Let me not hear your radio, man. Are you, are you, are you, are you not answer? Well, I'm not going to go back inside. I'm going to turn you. All right. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. yeah. Um, I know. Yeah. I don't try to talk to you, man. You're supposed to know me good. What may I ask you for do? I yeah. beg you, please. Yeah. Make the. We nation know say all we have to do yeah. are educate with kids them motor. Yeah. Because that cause a lot of problems. Because me even here I touch some um driving law rules and regulations. Yeah. Wait, not even the police don't know about them thing there. Yeah. Then then it's give your ticket. You know? Yeah, well them are calling for the police now for give them quota. That means they must tell the policeman if we go get more corrupt on the road. So as to get no, then can't, then can't do that. Then can't do that because but as that the policeman them are argue about say, oh, them could have do that now and they, 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 like them and tell the police them figures instigate more corruption on the road. But they, they who talk in that motor know mm. that intelligent people know that the police is not for that. They are for to protect citizens. The police. Yeah, and the police supposed to know that. Yeah, but them them do a bad bad work of it protecting citizens law. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're doing a bad work. We know that, but I know all of them. Yeah. Anyway, when I say now, with um, all the era where them say, um, where you, you know, if you blow a horn and them thing there. Yeah. In, in, a, in a Jamaica, you're not going to find that. Because we as big drivers know it's the only way where people are going to do that. And when they study like we were driver abroad and them thing there. Yeah, well, that's, why, that's, why, they man, the that's why they might say, if you do that now, you're going to get, you're going to pay your money. So that's yeah, 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 we, we want to do that still. It's like, a deterrent. Uh, see, it's yeah, a deterrent. You see, like where school, school is one. Yeah. School is one. Church is one. Hospital is one. We yeah. must drive more than 30 right. miles. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. When I shop at Mother's, I'll... They're still there, man. All right, it's still there. Yeah, where are you now? That bitch was here, let's do it. We, let's do it. No, man, no radio, no did it. All right, go on, go We, as ourselves, as driver, we long time I drive, you know? Yeah, yeah. We feel what's the right now. Here are we school. Yeah. Churches. Yeah. You have to slow yeah. down and you have to don't blow your hand. You know if you go yeah. you know if you go more than thirty miles per hour. Yeah. At least. In a no zone like that. Yes. And if a truck 
you must go more than 15. Yes. They're supposed to know that. That's the rule. Yeah. When you come, you can drive and know that. The police are supposed to give a warning ticket at every first instant. Yeah. But that, that may I tell you because we, we people them uneducated motor. Yeah. You have to take education serious more because you know that guy come from the ghetto like I and I. Yeah. So what I say? Mm. And that team only talk more because that may have to tell you. All right, sir. Me want to tell the, the, the father and the mother them say, pay attention to them kids make them learn. Good at school yeah. that you know left school. All right, you tell, tell them, you tell them, you tell them. Give yeah, time, yeah? Yeah, subject, my brother. Yeah, all right. Yes. Yell. Hello? Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, um, I'm a, I would like to ask you a question about Peter Tash. Yes. Um, and you may be a greater authority on the man than I am. No, I, 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 know, I, I know no greater authority upon Peter Tash. <laughs> but well, ask, me, ask me, ask me, still, ask me. Yeah, um, yeah, I was having a conversation with someone who said that the man who murdered him, um, apparently Peter Tash had committed some crime years ago. Mm. And, and him go to jail for Peter. Yeah. A foolish and, man. A foolish man. Because I a don't believe it, you know. But yeah, no, a foolish man. Being, being that foolish. Peter is such a great man. Yeah, but I tell you, no, you don't have to go over it again. Me say a foolishness. You have to make a okay. question for ask. I just want to ask that. Because well, a foolishness. Uh, not a question. I want to say something directly to you. Yes. Um, I think that you are... The, the second coming of Marcus Garvey. That's All right, sir. Of you. All right, give thanks. I think, I think yeah. yeah. All right. All right, Officially. give thanks, Bridget. Yes. Okay, click it. I'm a liar, you know? Yeah. See, yeah, because my sister made of my foot, of a broke foot, a broke in a max field, you see it? Mm. And this liar, yeah, this, the, that's the, 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 the policeman, the police, when I see it, and ask me to need a liar, I'm a liar, to give me, say, check out the car liar, check me. They have a cool and say a liar come and come check them at home. Right? Mm. And when he come check them at home, he him send desire to take up the case. Eventually, he will have to sign him fee first before he take up the case. Then mm. he give me a paper and he have to say, well, he him fee now a one million, <laughs> one hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> then he take up the case now yeah. and he start joining with the case. So you give him the million dollars? No, he, so he must say, I work, work, he said, well, I work, we take it, we take him fear. Okay. A legal aid liar. Mm. Right? See? And after, and after that now, see, he, 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 he prolong the, prolong the case. Right? The, the insurance that me up again. All right, hold on the bridge. It look like this conversation is going to take long. Here we know, we have the music news that come. If you want, hold on, if you want, call back. But the music right. news have to go come on as well now because it's, it's, it's 4.30 to go in as well now. So, yeah. is that a call back or your own land? Ah, I may call back then. Yeah. You see? Yeah, all right. Okay, so we're there at the music news time now. This poem, Words and Agro Festival. This is happening this Sunday. You know, so we will be there with other poets. It is, keep, you know, it did it, keep a hope be it. It, it. Last year, this year, it gone right now the author. Uh, a post Antonio, um, the Neville Anthony Park. This is this Sunday, starting from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. That is the this poem Words and Agro Festival. So it's a poetry thing, and there's a poet on it that I know. If, I, I don't remember him performing at Jamaica, but I know say it's a bridging where we are pushed for a long, long time. You know, him named Tehut Nine, Tehut Nine. Is is slated to be on this festival in Portland, and I want to play what I'm poem them. The Cultivation. Till the soil. Sunday we will be up there in Portland. Anthony Park, Neville Anthony Park. This poem. Poetry Festival. Agro Festival. Better future for a picnic. Or please for meditation. Give clear a concentration. People for know that I was here before them. Because I'm the man of the past. Living in the present. Step in. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Agriculture. We na come off of that, you know. From this program, you know. We na come off of that. But speaking of agriculture, you know. You know, people could have said Obama visit is the, the biggest thing happen 
Well, me brought the end of the year, I'm going to say the biggest thing happened. But I want to tell you about something where bigger than Obama visited them. Where happened in Jamaica, where there's no way. It's like how when, it's like how when Obama win the election and become president, people say, them never know them could have lived, you see, a black man in the White House with them family. Well, you know, something happened in Jamaica this week where I don't have no other news. We could have tapped this news. I mean, you know, something happened in Jamaica this week where I don't have no other news. We could have tapped this news. I mean, I talk about the, the killing them now. No. We are talking about different kind of news. Can you imagine? And you do have to imagine it again. Can you imagine some man in a, some suit and tie? Some government man a plant ganja in a the university on the university campus. That have to be the biggest thing ever. The man them from the government agency and others planting ganja. I want to I want the foreigner them who listen to me. Understand what I say you now. May I say. You see the same people them who persecute the people them for hundred years now about ganja. We the Rastafari Virgin and Citrin who have been persecuted for years about ganja. The same system will lock up people, beat people, and kill people for this plant. Found themselves planting ganja. On the university campus that have to be the biggest thing ever in the history of Jamaica for the past 50 years. <laughs> Believe you me. Not you see it bold. Believe you me. Me say when I look at the TV and I see it, man, me I tell you, say, me feel sudden, even more than happy, because me know we're gone before until it reached this point, you know, where happened. That me I say, wow. What was that all about? What was the persecution and the humiliation all about? If now we live in a time when the same system, the same jacket and tie, will persecute the plant, decide that they're going to plant ganja on the campus of one of the biggest learning institutions in the Caribbean, the University of the West Indies. The minister them turn ganja plant. <laughs> it's a wicked thing. It's a wicked thing. It's a wicked thing. The minister them turn ganja plant and they never plant for no normal land, you know. Them go plant it. Suppose you send your picnic go to school and you to the teacher plant ganja at school, right? <laughs> Why we tell you that stuff? We are telling you, jackass at the world a level, and it really a level. So you are going to know. We are going to go towards the, um, the, 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 the cash part thing, you know. But just think about it. Think about it. We live in a Jamaica right now where man in a suit and tie a dig hole for plant ganja in a school. Yes. El. Mota. You're blessed, man. Man, when I hear them really know all the, 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 the charge in them. That it is going to cause people to say, Lord have mercy with that now. Well, them not have to go to the IMF again. For them, call them money there, where they go to the IMF. Look here. Look here. <laughs> don't, don't even say that, Muta, because you hear it in the news that the government is saying them they don't want a certain amount of money to land tax. They say them go over that. These people cannot satisfy Muta. Yeah, the more yeah. them get, the more them want. And now they might tell the police them to go to go collect. Money by the hook or the cook. They are the one that is corrupting the police because when the police stop you, he must find a charge on you. Yeah, man, I will tear your pants. You just jump over a wall. You have to get pay five thousand dollars for that. Mota, when you check out all of the things them that they are going to charge for, the man them not leave nothing. It's like them just sit down and just check through everything. Yeah, yeah man, they have, to, they have to dig you out, man. If you got to them, they talk to and care them. <laughs> You, you remember the tax and card? Yes, okay. yes. The person don't get their license. Mm. You, you, you still have to pay for cross the road, man. 
me I tell you, yeah. I used to bike man now. Yeah. Any pillion him have. Yeah. You know, see, him have to make sure the pillion have on him. Help me too. Otherwise, yeah. him have to charge him. Them have to charge him. Right? Yeah. So when this, when this a financial year finish, them supposed to rich, have rich. a match with all in the whole for charge them. Yeah, and them can't, them can't sell me them per year of a little bit of money like what well, me and Neil want two per year and now we can get them for all a 5,000 Jamaican. <laughs> That's all because said, them can't afford to go buy bigger thing and all. It's never a dull moment in, in this Jamaica, country. In Jamaica, may I tell you, man. May I tell never you, man. a dull moment. I know this, and I know this, and I hear from Peter the Divine about the crime thing. I go on, I know this, uh, him, him, him kind of not giving us statistics again. Or not giving no, us statistics. no, because how can he be given statistics? Well, every, the only word that comes out of him out is crime going down. And he <laughs> cannot say that no, Muta. <laughs> it is going up, so there's no way. Right, well, I tell Clary, you. Clary, is a hot spot, right? You know, but the place bloody, you know, bloody, 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 you know. I tell you, man. I tell you. I tell you. We have to move, move Don't tell me no more. We have to move. Yeah, all right. Then. Yeah, yeah, all right. Yeah. We see people. I get. Emotional and want to pray about the three people, them, the three youth, them are dead, don't have Clarendon. This is not the first time a, 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 a murder of that kind take place where you have youth involved and you have people involved. Like, it's an ongoing thing now where the gunman, them, is like threes and fours and fives, them are killed. And where I say, we know, say, a man can't, I mean, if two men in a, if a man and a woman in a house and a wife and a woman took up a knife and stab a house, man, you know. My virgin can't stop that, you know. But we are saying that there are certain things that can prevent, that can be prevented where you need to put things into place. Remember, I say, I will keep saying it, you know. Mr. Bunting, I am asking you, please, sir, could you visit some of these countries that had high crime rate and know their crime rate has diminished and try to find out what did they do? We have to have places like Colombia, we have to have places like New York City. We have almost 10 million people in New York City. And the murder is like 300 per year. Per year, you know. You have places where they are closed down. They are closed down prisons in Europe. What are these people doing? That this minister and this government is not doing. So as to... Cut down crime because it should have been madness to say you want to get rid of crime, you know. You can't get rid of crime as long as you have politicians and preachers in the world. Crime will always exist. You understand? So what we are saying is that we them need to study and analyze societies that look at Haiti. Find that little thing that we just read a while ago. Them say Haiti is the poorest country of the Caribbean. Haiti have 10 million people and the crime rate in Haiti is not near the crime rate how we are going in Jamaica. How is that possible? Because them see poverty and crime, you know, and crime, poverty lead to crime, you know. Well, it is a good example of very impoverished, and the crime rate is not, I mean, really and truly, what is it with Jamaican that we get so evil and wicked? What is it? Why is it that the minister... Last year, until about 100 people never dead in a certain month. <laughs> Can you imagine a man, a, a, a minister, get up and say, Look here, don't feel no way, no, because it's that month here. Yeah? We never have 100 people murdered like the month about three months ago. Crazy, man. It's crazy. It's crazy. Them need snow for fall at Jamaica, man. Believe you me. Snow for fall up at Jamaica for freeze up some of them gone. Yes. Step in. Yeah. Blessed, Lord, no, Blessed man. In, in me I call from New York, you know. Eh? Yeah, um, yeah, that, I want to ask they are a Christian, but... Yeah, you have to talk about the program so done. Yeah, yeah, how much can get the, 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 the program where you do with Mr. The interview where you do with Marty Planner. Marty Planner, you mean long time ago? Yeah, man. Uh, right, uh, you have to tell me the date. Bring him, yeah. About three times you bring him. Yeah, yeah, but you have to tell me the date and the year when we do that interview there. The, 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 the month and the year. Uh, you have to tell me that. 
No, I mean, I love to get all the um, interview where you bring in for the radio. Yeah, I understand what I said. If you tell me the month and the year, the possibility that you might get it is, 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 is good. Oh, I don't really remember the month, you know. All right. 1997, uh, 2007. Well, you have to figure it out. You have to figure it out. All right? All right, all right. I just want to say blessed love. Yeah, man. Yeah. Give thanks. Give thanks. So, you yeah, what we are saying now? Before we forget, we want to give thanks to Samantha. And we want to give thanks to Neil. And I should pass through for the SDC program that will take place at IRFM um, Wednesday 6. But why you know that we're going to be in Portland at the this poem festival right in the heart of Post Antonio. And then you know say that the night are forever young for we by the Uka the Cook forever young Sunday night. We want you to the people who stay with me and listen to what we have to say and where we are trying to do with radio. So if you know here we are getting you know, on, we want to big up <laughs> me hungry who provide me with cutting edge food and we want to eat up Calabash restaurant to provide me with stepping razor food. Give thanks. Can you know say if you don't have no food, don't you so we miserable with the RFM. You understand? Everybody go wonder why we must have some look so nice and they must have go out so angry. We well, better give thanks to them two places there. You understand? All right. So here we know. If you know here we again, you know. Because the time so limited as so now, we can't take no more call. We're we'll going to go out with some mental music. You know when you have mental music, Neil? Yeah. <laughs> you have any mental music in your, in your collection? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right, wrong, wrong, wrong connection, wrong connection. Here we go now. Who wants to say, here is the right connection at all. Hey, listen to this now, listen to this, listen to this. Uh, a mentor we are going to do you now. We don't know how much mentor can play in a little time we have here. Wow. Five minutes. Five minutes.